Mother Miguel Mountain. We got another one for you urban hikers out there. It's a good hike, it's got a good challenge to it, so it's definitely a, a workout hike, similar to how I described Iron Mountain. Let's jump into the B-roll, and then I'll give you guys all the details, as well as my recommendation for who really should be doing this hike. So stick around. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you enjoyed that. Had a lot of fun taking my dog on this hike. She's almost 11, so the fact that she powered through, you know, there's no point was like pulling her or anything was amazing for me to see. With that said, let's jump into those details. So we specifically covered Mother Miguel Mountain via Rock House Trail, a heavily trafficked out and back trail located near Bonita, California that features a lake and is rated as moderate. Trail is primarily used for hiking, running, mountain biking, and is accessible year round. Dogs are also able to use this trail. A lot of kids on this trail, good amount of dogs, good amount of mountain bikers. It is a busy trail, so just know if you're planning on going during certain times of the day, it may be significantly busier than others. So as I mentioned, length 4.3 miles, elevation gain a little under 1200 feet and the rod type out and back. There is not a lot of shade. I would say 95% of this hike is no shade, so be aware of that. This information here is a little outdated. Really rocky and really hot in this SoCal heat. Yeah, that sounds about right. You know, it says it's located near Bonita. It's correct, but it's it's in East Lake. This is a little bit north of East Lake, and that is East Chula Vista, all sort of new development. To get here, it is really easy. You can click on the directions from here, or you can go to Google Maps, type in Mother Miguel Mountain Trailhead, and you'll see that it takes you exactly to where the trail starts. Now, as you saw it in the video, this trail starts in a neighborhood. So you'll be parking right outside people's houses. You'll see sort of all these cars parked and then there's a little trail right next to somebody's house that leads you up to that dirt road and that's exactly right here where this trail starts and you just follow it all the way up. Now the trail, I'll talk a little bit about the trail details after. The only thing I wanna note here is it's a pretty straightforward trail. Now Mother Miguel, which is where everyone recognizes sort of the American flag and, and the other flag, it ends right here. So this trail takes you past that and then back. I went a little bit past this and it just goes straight down for a little while and then I thought, do I want to re-climb up and then head my way back? Not really. So if you're just somebody who wants to go up there, watch the sunset, right where the rock, rock house and the flag is, you really just need to stop here where it says Mother Miguel Mountain. You don't really need to keep going further. And that'll obviously cut down your length to probably, if I had to guess, a little bit under four miles. All right, let's talk about those details here. So the trail, very easy to follow, and you can see everywhere from here on, it's just a bunch of little tiny switchbacks all the way up. I'm trying to pick my words correctly here. Here's what I don't like about this trail. A long time ago, this was probably a year and a half to two years, they were working on this trail a little bit more to make sure people sort of stayed on one path because there's a lot of fake paths on this trail. And a lot of people would just tough it out and go straight. 
it was just a straight shoot up. Since then, there's been work to block off a lot of those areas so that the habitat can be restored, and they've created paths in the switchback formation to help you make your way up. I saw a good amount of people on this trail, not a lot, but a good amount of people on this trail. No one, except for the mountain bikers, no one was on the switchbacks. Everyone was just going around the signs, shooting straight up onto the trail. It's disappointing because obviously the habitat will never recover. And the fact that I, I saw, if I had to guess, I probably saw somewhere between 30 to 40 people total during this hike. And the fact that I saw no one following the switchbacks was so, so disappointing. That may not bother you, bothers me. It's something for you to know if you're planning on going. It is beautiful up there. You do see the 125 and stuff, but sunset views did not disappoint. They're very nice. And you can also face east to get the Chula Vista Mountains. There's definitely some pretty views up here. Here's how I would recommend this hike. If you live within like 15 minutes of this hike, would definitely recommend that you go. This is a good workout hike. Go enjoy the views, you go early in the morning, go late in the afternoon, whatever it is, go do it. If you have to drive more than 15 minutes, I don't know why you would ever go do this hike. Honestly, it's a lot of dirt, which is fine, but the habitat, I just, I see potential for it and I just see such a nobody gives, and that was disappointing and, and you get up there, getting great views, um, but at 1500 feet, I mean, you have Mission Trails, Black Mountain, you have uh, cows, Ugh, Jesus, I'm not recommending cows. There's a lot of different places around San Diego where it's super, super similar views with similar elevation gains. So my last tip to you is again, if you if you live close by, go check it out. If you don't, there's really no need for you to go. There's nothing about this trail that would that would that would recommend somebody to drive 45 minutes to go explore. With that said, I'm still glad I did it. I grew up around this area and I'm a little surprised that it took me so long to actually figure out where it was and do it. Thanks for sticking around. Follow me on Instagram at Beauty is Wild with two eyes, the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash beauty is wild with two eyes and the website at www.beautyiswild.com with two eyes. Starting to cool a little bit. We're heading back out to the mountains. Stay tuned, really excited to cover those.